tonight we have a perfect example of opposing sides spinning things in very different ways. At the center of this is a lawsuit filed by the former fire chief who was fired by the city of Atlanta for writing a book that critics call homophobic. But tonight, both sides are claiming victory in these dueling press releases. So what's the real truth? Well, first, let me catch you up on the backstory here. We've been following this story since 2015, when former Atlanta Fire Chief Kelvin Cochran was fired by Mayor Kasim Reed after Cochran self-published the Christian book, Who Told You That You Were Naked? In it, Cochran describes homosexuality as vile, vulgar, inappropriate, and unclean. Cochran immediately declared the firing an attack on religion. The very faith that caused me to get my job uh, ultimately has cost me my job. And his supporters rallied in front of City Hall. They clogged up the city's phone lines and social media feeds. Cochran was a department head, so the city of Atlanta argues he could have been fired at any time with or without cause. And today, a federal judge agreed with the city on that point. But I want you to listen to what Mayor Reed said in an interview with 11 Alive back in 2015 about the firing. He never got permission from me to publish a book. And see, that may be where the city gets into a little bit of trouble because the federal judge ruled today that the city of Atlanta's rules about getting permission beforehand are unconstitutional. So both sides claim they won. Who's really the big winner in court today? So, Vinny, obviously you're a lawyer. What's your take on this? All right, this one, it was a little murky, a little gray yeah. area here, yeah. but this was all a motion for summary judgment, which can have the same effect as a trial, with the judge here making a decision about whether or not the firing of the chief was legal. Now, take a look at what happened here. The chief is suing the city, and as part of the lawsuit, the chief has made a bunch of claims. Now, in a ruling, the judge did dismiss most of the claims, but not all. She ruled in favor of the chief, saying there was a First Amendment violation by the city in requiring permission to publish the book. What happens next is a trial, but there still may be some dispute about what the trial's all about. The chief says it should be about damages and how much money the city will have to pay him, while the city in their press release is saying it will be about them proving their case. Now we'll get the answer to what the trial will be about when the judge signs the pretrial order in the next 30 days or so. Unless, of course, the chief and the city get together and reach a settlement.